The largest planet in our solar system is not just a colossal gas giant. Jupiter, in its immense presence, harbors the very patterns of the solar system's formation and even conceals the mysteries of processes unfolding on Earth. Hello, everyone! It is for this reason that astronomers are eager to unravel as much as possible about Jupiter. Welcome to our channel, everyone! For those of you intrigued by this colossal celestial body, get ready as we delve into the fascinating realm of Jupiter. Prepare for a cosmic journey as we embark on an exploration beyond our planet. Jupiter's Meteorological Tapestry When we venture out of our homes, the decision to don warm attire or carry an umbrella hinges on our awareness of the weather. Likewise, astronomers meticulously scrutinize Jupiter's atmospheric conditions. Could it be that these scientists are contemplating spending their vacation amidst the tempestuous skies of Jupiter? Since the inception of such investigations in 1978, scientists have been diligently collecting temperature data across diverse regions of Jupiter. In 2022, the culmination of observations spanning over three Jupiter years was unveiled to the world. Here are the revelations. Jupiter, in stark contrast to Earth, lacks distinct seasons. This peculiarity stems from Jupiter's axial tilt, a mere 3 degrees compared to Earth's 23.4 degrees. Consequently, scientists did not anticipate temperature variations occurring in a consistent cycle. Yet, in reality, temperatures on Jupiter exhibit fluctuations. Furthermore, the periods of temperature oscillation in Jupiter's atmosphere are not tethered to known cycles such as seasons. The most astonishing revelation is the synchronized nature of temperature variations across different regions of Jupiter. When temperatures rise in one locale, they can currently decrease at the same latitude in the opposite hemisphere. The question of why such phenomena occur remains a puzzle, eluding the comprehensive understanding of astronomers. Jupiter's Snowfall On August 5, 2011, the Atlas V rocket embarked on a cosmic odyssey, catapulting the planetary probe Juno into an extended journey. Almost five years later, Juno reached the colossal gas giant Jupiter. With its sights set on this celestial body, Juno embarked on a mission to investigate its magnetosphere, atmosphere, and internal structure. Despite the mission's extension until 2020, Juno has already gathered a plethora of valuable information about this massive gas giant, enriching our comprehension of Jupiter while introducing novel mysteries. While various astronomical instruments focus on Jupiter, Juno stands out, not only providing an astonishing volume of data, but also stirring our collective imagination. On May 19, 2017, this spacecraft captured images of frigid white clouds in Jupiter's upper atmosphere, composed of ammonia and water ice. Researchers speculate that precipitation occurs on Jupiter from these clouds. Whether it's snow or hail remains uncertain, but according to Scott Bolton from the Southwest Research Institute in San Antonio, considering it as snow is more favorable. What are your thoughts? Is it snow or hail? Feel free to share your insights in the comment section below. Jupiter's Core Before Juno embarked on its orbital journey around Jupiter, scientists speculated the presence of a high-density compact core, possessing 5 to 20 times the mass of Earth deep within the gas giant. This core is believed to be enveloped by a mantle of metallic hydrogen and an outer envelope comprised of hydrogen and helium. However, as Juno commenced its measurements of Jupiter's gravitational field, discrepancies with conventional theory surfaced. In response, scientists proposed a new model challenging the previously held notions. According to this model, the core occupies nearly half the radius of Jupiter, 
overturning the long-standing concept of a compact foundation that was foundational in previous theories. Contrary to the notion of a singular solid core, heavy elements dissolve non-uniformly in metallic hydrogen, increasing in concentration towards the center of Jupiter. The formation process of such a planetary structure remains an enigma, eluding the comprehensive understanding of scientists. Auroras on Jupiter Auroras, an exquisitely beautiful phenomenon, grace not only the Earth, but also Jupiter's celestial canvas. In 1979, Voyager 1 first observed light above Jupiter's North Pole, yet many details of this spectacle remain shrouded in mystery. While earthly auroras arise from the influence of solar wind, Jupiter's auroras might be even more intricate. This complexity arises from Jupiter's significantly stronger magnetic field and its greater distance from the Sun compared to Earth. On Earth, charged particles from solar wind move along magnetic field lines, exciting nitrogen and oxygen atoms in the atmosphere, producing shimmering displays of red, green, and purple. In contrast, Jupiter experiences continuous auroral activity. This is not only due to the flow of charged particles generated by solar radiation, but also produced by Jupiter's planetary system itself. The moon Io, a result of vigorous volcanic activity, spews forth copious amounts of sulfur dioxide. Ionized, it forms a plasma disk around Jupiter comprised of electrons, protons, sulfur, and oxygen ions. This colossal plasma laboratory, rotating with the planet, intrigues scientists due to its unique properties. Jupiter's auroras emit across the entire electromagnetic spectrum, characterized by a consistent pulsation. In 2021, the cause of pulsating X-ray flares was elucidated. Upon scrutinizing data from Juno and the XMM-Newton telescope, scientists discovered that Jupiter's rotating magnetic field collides with the solar wind, generating electromagnetic ion cyclotron waves and giving rise to pulsating auroras in the X-ray spectrum. Connected Satellites The strength and behavior of auroras seem to be related not only to solar wind, but also to Jupiter's satellites. The launch of the space probe Juno not only supported such speculations, but also raised new questions for scientists. In 2016, Juno successfully captured fantastical images of auroras above the South Pole. This is a challenging observation from Earth. However, Juno was launched to make the invisible visible. Astronomers compared the data of auroras at the North and South Poles captured by Juno and found that their pulsations were not synchronized. This asynchrony is significantly different from Earth's auroras. In Jupiter's South Pole, high-energy X-rays pulsate every 11 minutes. In contrast, the brightness of auroras in the North Pole fluctuates irregularly, unrelated to those in the South Pole. The theories of that time could not explain why auroral pulsations were not synchronized. Consequently, researchers speculated that there might be an additional factor influencing Jupiter's magnetosphere conditions locally. This factor might be the planet's satellites. Io, Europa, Ganymede left their visible traces, known as auroral spots. To investigate this relationship, Juno flew through the stream of electrons from Io to Jupiter, measuring the parameters of the electron shower. Simultaneously, scientists recorded changes in Jupiter's auroral spots, connected by an invisible rain to Io. As a result, it was discovered that magnetic stimulation within the electron flow leads to changes in auroral strength in the ultraviolet spectrum. In 2022, similar experiments were conducted on Ganymede. Researchers hoped to find a similar relationship, but did not make the discovery. Investigating this phenomenon is another task assigned to Juno and the upcoming JUICE, Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer mission. Jupiter's New Satellites The fascination with Jupiter goes beyond the mysteries of its main body. The numerous satellites orbiting Jupiter also continue to captivate astronomers with their intriguing enigmas. Take, for instance, Ganymede, 
boasting the title of the solar system's largest satellite, and Europa, holding the potential for a liquid ocean beneath its icy exterior. Such wonders leave no room for lacking allure. The initial four satellites of Jupiter were meticulously documented by the observations of the renowned Galileo Galilei in the year 1610. Fast forward to the present day, where scientists wield equipment significantly more robust and advanced than the tools employed by the Italian astronomer. This technological advancement results in the regular discovery of new satellites. In January 2023 alone, a staggering 12 new satellites were added to the ever-expanding catalog. As a result, the tally of Jupiter's satellites swelled to 92, firmly establishing its dominance in the realm of celestial bodies for a considerable duration. On the flip side, Saturn, once the reigning champion with a confirmed count of 83 satellites, observed with envy from the depths of the solar system, emitting sighs of longing. February witnessed the incorporation of an additional three new satellites into Jupiter's celestial assets. While the supremacy of this colossal planet seemed unassailable, by May, the International Astronomical Union had already registered several dozen new satellites for Saturn. Consequently, the satellite count for Saturn reached an impressive 146. The cosmic competition between these two giants continues unabated. Now, the intriguing question lingers. How will Jupiter respond to this celestial rivalry? Jupiter's Abyss The grand spectacle of Jupiter, the Great Red Spot. Spanning an impressive 16,000 kilometers, this powerful high-pressure system has been under observation for a staggering 350 years. Yet, within Jupiter's atmosphere, there are numerous other captivating features. One such spectacle is the Abyss of Jupiter, captured by NASA's Juno spacecraft on May 29, 2019. This anomaly presents an exceptionally rare vortex with a bright periphery and a dark center. While NASA remains uncertain about its true nature, speculation suggests it might be an opening into the deeper layers of Jupiter's atmosphere. Doesn't it resemble the vortex created when draining water from a bathtub? And with that, today's video comes to an end. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you found this video intriguing. If you enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up icon and don't forget to hit the bell button for notifications on our latest uploads. Also, consider sharing this video on your social media platforms. In return, we promise to bring you even more captivating content. Now, Let's swiftly dive into preparing for the next video. It's a temporary farewell, but we'll be back with you soon. Until then everyone, take care and goodbye.